Hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining me in Online Yoga School Prenatal Yoga Flow. Thank you so much. We are going to get started here. It is 531. <sighs> I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Hello. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your position as we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Ensuring that our spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Keeping that nice, elongated spine creates extra space in belly, especially when you have a big belly. So keeping that spinal cord nice and elongated. Relaxing the shoulders downward away from the ears. This allows us to relax into the upper parts of our bodies, our shoulders and our neck. A lot of times we hold tension in our neck. Just relaxing those shoulders down helps ease and relax. Slightly gazing the eyes downward or closing the eyes if that feels good for you. As we take a nice breath in, exhale through the mouth. Breathe in. Exhale. Noticing how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Allowing our minds and bodies to go inward. Relaxing silent meditation for natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, flowing our fingertips towards the heavens, feeling that stretch, our shoulders flows up towards our ears, elongating that spine, feeling that stretch as we breathe our palms together, interlacing our fingers, our fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Allowing our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. You'll feel this in your lumbar spine. We're going to hold this three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, separating the palms. We are in our seated, extended mountain. Palms are separated. Heart chakras open, chin is up. We are channeling in positivity, hope, and inspiration. Welcoming in new and inspirational things. Two more breaths. Breathing our palms together in our salute. Exhale into prayer, palms come heart center, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Gaze in the eyes downward as we allow our palms to connect to our yoga mat. Palms are on the sides of our bodies. We are tapping into our environment, taking a moment to notice what is going on around us, right here, right now. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths. As we breathe our feet in a bow position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly, the bottoms of our feet are connecting. This is a hip opener. We are using this bow position to help open up and loosen and relax our hip flexors here. This is a great labor prep pose. And if we choose, we can slightly hinge at the hips, allowing that torso to slightly come towards the feet. Being mindful of baby and belly if we have big bellies. Noticing that when we hinge at the hips, you'll feel it a little deeper here in those inner thighs. So being mindful of how far you come down. Only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to go down. And if we're able, we can allow our shoulders to melt forward and our head 
to relax downward towards our feet if we're able. We're going to hold this position for three breaths. Two breaths. And exhaling back up to our diamond or our butterfly, lifting our bodies. We're just taking a note that in our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. This is an even deeper hip opener. This is the butterfly. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our body. Both poses look the same, but they are slightly different. With our hands connected to our ankles, we then allow our heart chakra to open and our chin up. As our head relaxes back between our shoulder blades, we are in our bound cow pose. Noticing how this feels in your neck and in your lumbar spine. Two more breaths. As we flow to our cat, bringing our chin to our clavicle, spinal cord flow slightly towards the back of the room. Being mindful of baby and belly, we don't want to squish the baby. Two more breaths. Flowing back to cow, chin comes up, head relaxes between the shoulder blades. Two breaths. Flowing back to our diamond or our butterfly. Using our hands to breathe our legs and straightening our legs. We're in our staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side. If we have big bellies, we can separate our legs a little to create space for baby. So listening to your body and doing what feels best for you, we are in our staff pose or our wide-legged staff to give space for belly. As we slightly hinge at the hips, allowing our torso to come downward, closer towards the earth, and you may feel this in your inner thighs as well as the back of your legs and your hamstrings. Feeling that stretch? Taking a nice breath. Exhale through the mouth. Feeling the body relaxing smoothly. And we can come deeper in this pose if we choose by coming deeper down, allowing that head to relax downward towards the knees. We can bring our hands to our ankles or the bottoms of our feet. If that feels good, we're going to hold this for three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back up to our staff pose. Our legs are parallel. Toes are pointing upwards towards the heavens. Palms are relaxed on our laps. We are gaze forward with our eyes slightly fluttered downward. Taking a moment to check in with how we feel here in our staff pose. We're going to hold this position. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, flowing into that salute, chin focuses up, chin looks up. Exhale a prayer, palms come heart center, relax in the body. Taking a moment to check in with self. Two breaths of silence. As we cross our feet and our ankles, we're going to come into a tabletop. Pose coming onto our hands and our knees. Our knees are hip distance apart. Palms are flat on the earth. And we're going to drop down to our cow. Tummies come downward towards the earth. Chin is slightly up. You may feel this in your lumbar spine, your lower back. We're going to hold this cow pose. Three breaths. This is a good labor prep pose. Two more breaths. As we flow to our cat, bringing our chin to our clavicle, spinal cord flows up towards the heavens. Two more breaths. Flowing back to cow, tummy comes downward towards the earth, chin is up. Exhale back to cat. Coming to our table. We're going to work on our balance, extending that right leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. Both palms are flat on the earth. 
right legs extended towards the back with your gaze forward. Focusing on our balance here. And if we choose, we can extend our left arm forward. So we have the right leg towards the back, left arm is forward. We are in our sunbird pose. For balance, if we choose, we can lower our right toes downward towards the earth. We are still in that sunburn. So whichever feels best, right toes lowered or right foot is up towards the back. Feeling a body balance and strengthen here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to the table, both palms flat on the earth. Knees are hip distance apart. Dropping down to cow, chin is up. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our table as we extend that left leg towards the back. Feeling that stretch? We can extend that right arm forward. We are in that full sunbird as we are gazed forward. Optioning to lower those left toes downward towards the earth for balance if we choose. Or we can keep that leg straight behind us as we balance and strengthen here for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to table, dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right, moving those legs. We are working on our strength in our arms. We're going to find our pause. We're going to shift our weight slightly forward, coming into that high plank for two breaths. Exhale back down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold. Or maybe we're slightly wide-legged in our forward fold if we have a big belly. Always being mindful to create space for baby. Allowing that head to melt downward towards the earth. If we have, if we feel a little dizzy, we can come into a half forward fold. Being mindful that the higher months we are, the higher in our trimesters, we don't want to go down to a complete forward fold because we may feel dizzy. So we're either in our complete forward fold or our half forward fold. You'll feel this stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. We're going to hold this for three more breaths. Two breaths. Mm. Exhale to Tadasana, our standing pose. We are in our mountain. Palms are at our side. Fingertips flows downward towards the earth, feeling nice and strong. Our feet are planted into the earth. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. Taking a moment here in our Tadasana to check in with body, noticing how we feel. And if we choose, we can place our palms on our bellies, showing baby within a little love. Maybe we're not pregnant. Maybe we're just manifesting. We can keep our palms on our tummies or we can keep our palms at our side. Whatever feels best. Three more breaths. Mm -hmm. Eyes slightly gaze downward. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our standing salute, fingers flows up towards the heavens. Our palms are together, interlacing our fingers, pointer finger points up towards the heavens. As our arms flow slightly towards the back, you'll feel this slight back bend here. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, separating the palms, standing extended mountain. Palms are separated as our bodies lean towards the right, standing side bend. Feeling this in the side body. Slightly gazing up at the heavens if that feels good. Opening up their heart chakra. Two more breaths. Exhale into center. 
extended mountain. As we lean the body towards the opposite side, feeling that side bend. Slightly gazing up at the heavens if that feels good. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. Breathing our palms to our standing salute. Exhale prayer, palms come heart center. Relaxing the shoulders downward towards the ears. Yogi walking our feet slightly apart as we hinge at the hips coming into that half forward fold. We are in our prayer hands. Backs are straight here. You'll feel this behind the legs and the hamstrings. Two more breaths. As we bend our knees coming into a chair pose, we can extend our palms in front of us in our chair, or we can keep our palms at heart center. Whatever feels best for you, three breaths. We are building strength in our lower parts of our bodies. Two more breaths. Exhale to half forward fold. Backs are straight, gaze forward. Two more breaths. We can flow to a complete forward fold if that feels best for you. Two more breaths. As we walk our hands forward, come into down dog, gazing at the feet. Breathing to our three-legged dog, lifting that right leg up in the air, feeling that stretch. Gazing at the foot. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling it. Crunch, back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog. We're only going to do one crunch. As we breathe that left leg up in the air, three-legged opposite side, gazing at the foot. Breathing that left, left knee to that left elbow, feeling that crunch, working our arms. Back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog. Dropping down to our elbows. Our forearms coming into a dolphin pose. Gazing back at the run, buttocks is high in the air. We're going to hold this dolphin for two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees. We're going to come into a wide-legged Puppy pose, buttocks is high in the air. Arms are extended in front of us. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Our third eye chakra, our forehead's gonna connect to the earth. We are in our puppy pose, extended puppy pose. We're gonna relax and soothe. Taking a moment to check in with body. Five natural breaths. Optioning to breathe our palms together, flowing into a puppy pose prayer hands, if that feels good. Three more breaths. If we're in our prayer hands, we're going to extend our palms back in front of us, palms flat on the earth. We're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our puppy pose, using our palms to wave our bodies forward and using our palms to push our buttocks towards our heels. Spinal waving, feeling the spine, soothe and relax and decompress. We are relaxing and loosening our spine here. Three breaths. Feeling your entire spinal cord, including your neck, flow in this rotation. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at center, coming back to table, knees are hip distance apart, palms are flat on the earth. As we drop down to cow, exhale to cat. Flow into our table. As we push our bodies back to down dog, gazing at our feet. And we're gonna breathe our right foot to our right hand. We're gonna kind of, we're gonna come into that runner's lunge. Right foot, right hand, runner's lunge. As we breathe up to our warrior two, lifting the body up, 
Warrior two, we are building strength in the lower parts of our body here. We're going to hold this three breaths. Two breaths. As we exhale to reverse warrior, if we're able, two breaths. Exhale into side angle, crossing this right arm over that right thigh. We are in that side angle or extended side angle, breathing that left arm up in the air or over the head. Feeling that stretch, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to warrior two, arms to the front, arms to the back, building strength. As we twist our bodies forward, forward warrior one or high lunge. Gazing up at the heavens, two more breaths. Exhale back to warrior two. As we twist the body forward, wide-legged half forward fold. Hmm. Or complete forward fold, if that feels good for you. Feeling the body relax and soothe here in our wide-legged half or wide-legged complete forward fold. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding pause. If we're in our half forward fold, we're going to come down to a complete forward fold. As we walk our hands forward, breathing our feet together, down dog, gazing at the feet. As we breathe our left foot to our left hand, runners lunge opposite side, feeling that stretch, two more breaths. Exhaling up to warrior two, lifting the body away from the earth, away from the thighs, arms to the front, arms to the back, warrior two. Building strength in the lower parts of our bodies. We are also working that pelvic floor. Two more breaths. As we exhale, reverse warrior. If we're able, fill in that stretch. Two breaths. Breathing to side angle, crossing that left arm over that left thigh. Or extended side angle, breathing that right arm up in the air. Or flowing over the head. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale. Exhale back to warrior two. Lifting the body. As we breathe to warrior one or high lunge. Twisting the body forward. Arms are up in the air. Chin is up. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to warrior two. Feeling the movements here. Feeling the motion. Two breaths. As we twist the body forward, have forward fold or complete forward fold. Whatever feels best for you and your body. Soothing and relaxing here. You'll feel a stretch behind the legs. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Mm -hmm. Exhale, walking our hands forward, bringing our legs together, down dog, gazing at the feet. Mm -hmm. As we breathe our right foot to our right hand, we are back in that runner's lunge. Right foot to right hand, feeling that runner's lunge. And this time we're going to drop that left knee down, coming into that low lunge. Lifting our torso away from our thigh as we breathe our arms up above our head in that crescent lunge. Feeling this stretch. This is a hip opener, prepping and preparing our bodies for labor. We're going to hold this for three more breaths. Two breaths. 
exhale and back forward, framing that front foot, taking that left knee off the earth. We're going to straighten that front leg to a pyramid. Torso relaxes over that thigh. If we have a big belly, our bodies are going to come slightly off towards the sides here in our pyramid. And we'll feel this stretch behind our leg and our hamstring. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to runner's lunge, bend in that front leg. Breathe down dog, gazing at the feet, walking our dog by pedaling our legs left and right. As we breathe our left foot to left hand, runner's lunge, opposite side, feeling that stretch. This time we're going to lower our right knee downward towards the earth, low lunge. Moving our bodies, pushing our bodies away from that thigh, breathing our arms up in the air, feeling that stretch, crescent lunge. Interlacing our fingers if we choose, feeling that stretch, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale forward, framing that front foot. Taking that right knee off the earth. We are back in that runner's lunge. As we straighten that left leg, pyramid pose, feeling that stretch. Our torso relaxes over that thigh. If we have big bellies, slightly bringing the body off towards the side here in that pyramid. We can still feel that stretch behind our legs. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale forward, bending that knee, runner's lunge. Breathe down, dog, gazing at the feet. We're going to drop down to our knees. We're going to come up to our, oh, coming up to our knees. We're going to work on a camel prep. We're not going to go too deep in our camel. That's the camel prep. This is good for low back pain. So we are on our knees. We're going to place our palms on the lower parts of our backs with our fingertips facing downward towards our buttocks. Camel prep. As we allow our heart chakra to open, our chin is up. We're going to allow our shoulder blades to slightly flow towards the back. Feeling that back bend. Allowing that head to relax between the shoulder blades if you're able. Now, for those who choose and who are able and can, and flow into a complete camel or a half camel by bringing that right hand to right heel of the foot. That is a half camel. A full camel is bringing both hands to both heels of the foot. Or we can do a half camel opposite side. We also can extend the arm up in the air. Whatever you choose, we're going to freestyle in our camel, which is good for low back pains. Four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and back up. We are on our knees. We're going to come down to a child's pose or puppy pose, whatever feels good. And our child's pose. We are wide-legged with our torso relaxed between our thighs. Buttocks comes down to our heels. Arms are extended in front of us. That is the child's pose. Third eye chakra, foreheads connected to the earth. For the puppy pose, our legs are slightly together. Buttocks is high in the air. Torso comes down towards the earth. Third eye chakra, foreheads connected to the yoga mat. Gaze in the eyes downward or close in the eyes, whichever feels good for you. As we relax and soothe, we're going to go inward here, focusing on self, focusing on being within. As we relax in silent meditation, five natural breaths.
three more breaths. With our arms extended in front of us, palms are flat on the earth. We're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose or puppy pose. Feel in a spinal wave and a spinal cord, decompressing and relaxing our spine. Two more waves. As we find our pause at center, coming back to tabletop, palms are flat on the earth. We're going to drop down to cow, tummy comes downward. Towards the earth, chin is up. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our tabletop pose. We're going to cross our feet at our ankles. We're going to come onto our buttocks. Just for a second. And we're going to flow onto our backs. Maybe using a bolster pillow if we have, if we are in our second or third trimester, we don't want to lay flat on our backs for too long. So flat on our backs or up on a bolster pillow or a blanket. Because the bigger our bellies are, the more pressure we apply to the vena cava. So lying flat on the back when we're past our second trimester can make you feel a little dizzy or may even have you feeling like you're going to pass out. So if that should happen, please roll onto your side and come into a fetal pose. Otherwise, we're going to stay on our backs just for a second. We're going to use this bolster pillow to lift our pelvic bone forward, which is taking pressure off of that vena cava. We're going to breathe our legs up in the air. We're going to come into a wide-legged knees to chest, bringing our knees, our legs outward towards the side of our bellies. So our bellies are in the middle. Our legs are on the side. This is our wide legged knees to chest. If we are only one or two months, maybe we'll bring our knees to our chest, hugging them in. But if we have bellies, we want to bring those knees outward towards the side, being mindful of baby within. Two more breaths, and you'll feel this opening up your hip flexors here. This is a labor prep. As we extend the legs up in the air, Legs on the wall poles, pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens. Feel the neck stretch. And we can wide-legged this pose, recline wide-legged, breathing the legs outward towards the side. You'll feel the stretch in our inner thighs. Being mindful, if you feel dizzy, roll onto your side, please, and come into a fetal pose and relax it out. Two more breaths. You'll feel this in your inner thighs. As we breathe our legs back inward, coming back to knees to chest or wide legged knees to chest. And we're going to place our feet, the bottoms of our feet are flat on the earth. Our knees are up in the air. We're going to remove that pillow and we're going to work on a bridge, a pelvic tilt. Using our feet, our palms are at our buttocks, flat on the earth, and we're going to lift our buttocks off the earth. Now we're in that pelvic tilt. We are in a bridge pose. Our tummies come nice and high, and we are working at gluteus maximus. We are working our buttocks. And we're going to pulse the body up and down, coming slightly down towards the earth, and pulsing the body back up. And you'll feel your gluteus maximus lift and round. We are working at buttocks. And we can hold it up. If we choose, we can go deeper in this bridge pose by bringing our hands underneath our buttocks and interlacing those fingers and walking our shoulder blades towards our spine. And you'll see your chest muscles, your chest flexors come up higher, and your hips are higher. We are in our deep bridge. If we choose, at any time, we can come out of these poses and roll onto our side and relax in a fetal pose. Listening to your body, my voice is just a guide. Two more breaths in our bridge pose. Uninterlacing those fingers if they were attached, untucking those shoulders, breathing the knees back to chest, wide naked knees to chest. This is a counter stretch, taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Relaxing the body, 
as we allow our knees to flow towards the left. Recline spinal twist. Knees flow towards the left. You'll feel that twist in your spine. You'll feel it decompress and soothe. You may even feel it crack, maybe. Knees are towards the left. We want to bring that right arm out towards the side like lowercase t. Knees are towards the left, to right arms out to the side. We can gaze up at the heavens or we can gaze over our right shoulder. If we choose, slightly gaze in the eyes down, closing the eyes. Our shoulder blades melts back into the earth. Feel in the mind and body decompress as we are connecting to our babies within, as we are connecting to ourselves, to our bodies. Five breaths of silence. Mm. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center. And we're going to allow our knees to flow towards the opposite side, towards the right. Knees flow towards the right. Feeling that spinal twist. You feel this all throughout your spinal cord, your lumbar spine, maybe. Optioning to bring that left arm out to the side, like a lowercase p. So we have our right knee. Our knees are towards the right. Our left arm is out towards the side. We are gazed up at the heavens, or we are gazed over our left shoulder. Shoulder blades are melted back into the yoga mat. Feeling our bodies become one with the earth. Eyes are fluttered shut as we are going inward. Relaxing here, silent meditation, five natural breaths. Three more breaths. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. We're going to grab our pillow or our blanket. We're going to place it between our thighs. And we're going to roll onto our side, coming into a fetal pose. Optioning to use another blanket for our neck to create comfort for our neck. Here in our fetal pose, we are going to place our palms on our tummies if that feels good. In our fetal pose, we are representing the fetus within the body. Hence, fetal pose. Allowing the body to relax and soothe with the eyes gazed down with the floors. Placing our hand on our tummies if that feels good, connecting with the baby. As we relax and soothe, silent meditation by natural birth. Three more breaths. We're going to slowly rotate our toes, move in our feet and our ankles. Slowly awakening the body. 
we can option to stay in our fetal pose if we choose. We do not have to come up to a seated pose. We can stay relaxed in our fetal pose if that feels good. Otherwise, if we choose using our top hand to lift our bodies up, coming into a seated pose, removing that pillow from between the thighs, if we had a pillow or a blanket there, and we're going to find a comfortable seated pose that feels good for us, I'm going to come into a cow face legs. May you find any seated pose or any laying position that feels good for your mind and your body. If we are in our seated position, ensuring that our spinal cords are nice and elongated. Keeping in mind that when we sit sunken or when we slouch, we reduce the space in the tummy for baby. So those who have big bellies may feel sometimes the baby is under their ribs. Simply sitting straight and lengthening that spine could create more space in the belly, giving the baby a little bit more room and reducing some of the discomfort you may feel within the ribs. So nice, elongated spine here. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from the ears. This relaxes and soothes our shoulders and our neck. Ensuring that our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead muscles are relaxed. As we take a nice breath in, exhale through the mouth. Taking a notice of how the breath feels within the body, how the breath relaxes the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into that prayer, maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest, if that feels good. As we breathe our palms above our heads and our salute, reaching those fingertips up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. We are in that seated, extended mountain. Palms are separated. As we twist the body slightly towards the right, coming into that seated twist, breathing the palms downward towards the earth, we're going to slightly gaze over that right shoulder. Seated twist. Ensuring not to go too deep in our twist, especially when we have big bellies, we don't want to over twist the body ever. So being mindful of how deep we come into our seated twist with the eyes slightly gazed downward. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, coming back into that seated extended mountain. Palms above the head, they are separated. As we twist the body towards the left, seated twist, opposite side, palms come down, being mindful of how deep we come into that twist. Gazing over that left shoulder, eyes are fluttered downward, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, coming into that seated star. In our star, our palms are slightly outward towards the side. Our heart chakra is open. Our chin is up. Eyes are slightly gazed down. Here in our seated star, we are feeling strong, bright, and powerful. Brightening our days and brightening our nights with the power and the strength that comes from within. Always being our own power source, our own star, our own light. Outside sources are bonuses, ensuring that our power and our light always comes from within. Two more breaths, sitting in our star, sitting in who we are, being true to who we are. As we flow to our extended mountain, breathing our palms above our head, palms are separated. As we breathe our palms together to our salute, palms are together. 
Exhale, prayer, palms come heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. We can place our palms on our tummies if that feels good for us. Or we can keep our palms, our palms at heart center. Whatever feels best. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today for in a busy, busy world. It is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.